Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to make a gift bag today and I've got my lovely little handbags book here for inspiration. And today I'm going to try and recreate this Fendi bag from 2001. I love this beadwork and then the embroidered flowers here. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing any embroidering or using any beads, but I think the idea that I've got is going to work quite well. So yeah, let me show you how I'm going to make it. Okay, so as always, I've already gone ahead and done a lot of stuff and I'll talk you through the detail on those as we go. Get rid of all of this here. So I've already stuck down all of these sequins to give me the look of the beads on that bag. And these are just a little sequin mix that I've had for ages. It was actually, I think it's like a party, table party kind of confetti. And um, I they came to mind as soon as I saw that beadwork. It's all the same kind of colours. I thought I was originally I was thinking about doing lots of dots of Nouveau and um, I just thought that's going to take too long to dry. And if I go wrong, you know, it, it will ruin the whole thing. Whereas you can see here is like really heavy beading at the bottom, then it just kind of fades out. So I've kind of tried to recreate that with these little discs. I can always add a few more once I put the bag together if I feel it needs it. But that's what I've done so this is the front but you need the same for the back so I can use that one to score and then this is the lid you can see I've done the same kind of effect there so you're going to want two pieces of seven and a half by eleven it's a nice style bag and the way that I'm putting this together is a little bit different to what I've done before and I don't think I've done this size before either so along the 11 inch side you want to score at eight and ten and a half and then along the seven and a half side you want to score at five and you want to do that on both pieces. Now you also want to score at, let me just use this one here so I can remember. So it's nine and nine and a half. So you want to score at nine and you want to go down to three and three quarters. And then again at nine and a half down to three and three quarters. Pop it on its short side and just join up at the three and three quarter just join those two markers up you can see that i've gone past that one there but i can what you can do is just go on the back and just rub over the score line but we're going to be doing some more scoring in a minute can you see it's just faded it slightly but you just want that effect so that was at nine and nine and a half down to the three and three quarter marker okay you'll then want this piece you want two pieces of that and then you want one piece of four by eight and along the four inch side you want to score at one and then one and a half I'm being careful there I don't want to catch any of my discs and then just fold and burnish and then I've just rounded off the corners here using my corner punch just to soften it a little bit and then go back to this one and with a ruler and a metal stylus you want to score from the bottom of this rectangle piece down to each corner within that rectangle there. Don't go down into this part. So I'm just going to pop my stylus down first, then lay your ruler down and just score. As you can see that I've just scored across down to there. And then again on this side. Like so. So what this creates is a little area for us to attach the handle, but it's all also the same width as this part of the top of the bag. So it just means you've got a little bit of that extra space, plus it expands obviously out once you open it fully anyway. But that's what you should have there. So you want to do that again on both pieces. Then fold and burnish all your score lines. And then with these ones, if you just make them both valley folds, and just follow that all the way around. So all of that is a valley fold. Just pushing in there with my finger. This isn't going to fold flat. This is just so you get a nice detail on the side there. See, it's just that little bit thicker. Next, you want to do some cutting. So you want to cut up this one here, just up to the first score line. And then again, this one here. And then remove that piece completely and then just take a little wedge off of this one and at this end as well okay and then i like to fold that one up and then you can just take a little 
wedge off of both of those sides there and I don't think I did that on this one here now so I'm just going to do the same on this one okay next we want to stick these together so I'm going to use my all-purpose Kalau glue and first of all I'm just going to run some glue down that tab and then I'm just going to lay this one over the top focusing on that base score line so make sure you line this one up here that means your bag will kind of stand up nice and it won't wobble if you're off on the top you can always trim that piece so just hold that there for a second okay and then I'm just flipping the whole thing over fold this side and then run your glue again down that tab and then just bring this one over and again it should all line up nicely now if you're limited on space and you want to keep make this now and then use it later maybe don't attach the bottom and that way you can still keep it flat until you need it and then all you'd have to do is stick this in but next just sticking the base one down first and then folding both of the side pieces in and then adding some more glue and like I always say, if you want to reinforce this a bit more, then you could pop a, another piece of cardstock in here, maybe some grey board, and that will add strength. But by the time we've stuck these two together and the side pieces with the cloud glue, it really becomes very strong. So you can still put something with a bit of weight in here. Just stick that one down and then just flip it over. And you can go in there with your hand. If not, just use something that you can just rub the top there just to push all that glue down. So now when you push in the sides, can you see when it all goes together, it will have that half inch kind of opening and that's going to be enough for your lid to go on. So you, you create this really cute little clutch. I've actually got clutch bags very similar to this. So it's a really nice style. You can see how it's all coming together there. So if, when I do go to add the handle, you don't have to if you'd rather just keep it as a little clutch. Next, you want to add some glue to the back one inch section like so and then you're going to you can stick the if you kind of line the front up with that score line and then bring the back around that way you've got something that you can kind of push down on there and then you can just move it around till it's all lined up on the back once you're happy, just pinch the sides and then open it up and you can then go in and push down everything else. So that's how it looks on the back. And then that's just going to come over like so. What I'm going to do now is just pop in quick, probably only be about a minute, just showing you me sticking all of this down here. going to be for the faux buckle do you see how that goes on like so and then that's going to go onto the front here and start to make it look more like a bag so the pinky colored piece is two and a quarter by three and a half and I've just used the Cricut pen I've never ever used it I don't use my Cricut with the pen so but it's a really nice gold metallic so I've just used that to create like a faux stitching and I've done it on the handle there as well and then I've just rounded the corners and then this piece here I'll show you the back so I've done some scoring here but it's one and a half by two and three quarters and I just marked along the short side there the one and a half side at every quarter of an inch and along the bottom there as well and then just joined it up joined the lines up and then along this side, I'd just done quarter of an inch 
with a marker at either end. As you can see there, a quarter of an inch and two and a half is where the pencil mark is. And again, along the bottom and just joined up those lines. I then cut it on this side, you know, that way it just means the front's much neater. And you can see I've just cut out down that first pencil line and then I come across past that one and then kind of halfway between the second and then cut up. I mean, it's entirely up to you. You just want to have a section in the middle that's still attached that just gives you that design. You can just have it sitting over the top if you would prefer, but I do quite like having it through like so because it does look like a buckle. You could also, if you wanted to, just cut that size and then just cut another rectangle in the middle because when you sit it on there, you can't really see that it's that it's over the top of that one. Okay, so it's up to you. You might just want to have it plain like so. So just whatever works. So next, I want to position this. So on the picture here, let's just see how far down. So the buckle is actually underneath that flap. So there's quite a lot there, but I'm... I don't know, I might prefer it a bit higher. Let's just have a little play around. So again, you know, you can have this however you want. So that's kind of how it is. But I'm not sure if I like all of that. I prefer it. I think I prefer it kind of in the middle. So, you know, entirely up to you how you want to do this, but I'm just gonna use my quick grab glue. This is the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. I'm just going to just run a little bit along the top there. That's all I need, really. Just make sure we get this in the middle. And then once I'm happy where that is, I'm then just going to pop a little bit of glue just to hold that buckle in place because it's not actually really attached to anything. So I'm just plopping a little bit of glue either end there and then I've just got my velcro dot just put a pair together there bring this over and just kind of get it in place and then just hold both of them when you prise them apart and then I can just squeeze it down I will rub all that pencil out I would probably say do that before you stick it down actually but I can get away with that still then I've got these flowers here. So again, trying to recreate the colours and the kind of arrangement there. They have got four. I've added an extra one. I needed to have an, an odd number. And I've also got some little green leaves there as well. So I've got my glue gun on. I'm just going to lean this on the book here. So I think I'm going to have the blue and the yellow there and then the yellow and the pink there and then this third one up there and kind of come over onto that strap a bit I guess and then I've got the leaves which are going to then fill some of this space maybe something like that that looks quite sweet and then once we've got the handle attached I think that's going to look good so I'm going to get that stuck down Okay, this is very bold. This is so different to anything I've done before, but I really like it. I'd love the real bag, to be honest. Okay, then I've got these two strips of half an inch by 12. I'm not going to end up needing all of it, but I am going to attach it in the middle. And then I can kind of see how much I want to keep. One was just too short. Two would be, well, you could have, you know, the length of two if you want. I'm probably overlapping about an inch there. And then let's get rid of this. I don't need the gun anymore. So now what I'm going to do is attach to the side here. But again, in the book, it kind of has the end. If you just curl it out a little bit, again, it just gives it a bit more of a authentic look. So I'm just going to about an inch up there, just adding some glue. And just sit that down right in the middle of that piece there. And then what will happen is that will close and it will kind of 
wrap around and then come out and then yeah see that's too long so I'm going to come down I'm going to go so this is up to you I'm going to cut it to about there and then I'm just going to add the little dashes there and then again just curl that out slightly and then again add the glue about an inch up open that back up and just kind of eyeball that you've got a similar amount hanging over each side there and close that up and there you have your cute little handle i think it's adorable i absolutely love that so there it is depending on how you decorate it it's actually a really quick gift bag to make it's going to hold some nice gifts in it and again i'll just bring in that version and my version in the paper i don't think it's too bad you know put the handle even down like so i think it looks pretty good so there you have it something a bit bold somewhat garish but i really like it hopefully it inspires you to maybe do something a little bit out of your comfort zone in terms of decoration i love the sparkle on this one though i think it looks really cool and um, eventually i'll give it away to somebody but right now i'm just going to keep that one in my craft room so as always thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this gift bag idea today i'll pop up some more from this handbag series that i'm currently doing i'm just trying to really work through this book so it's an ongoing series it may last a few years who knows i've already done quite a few the playlist for those will be coming up now as well and if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed if you hit the subscribe button and then click the gray bell that will go red and then that means that you'll then get notified every time i upload a new video thanks for watching i'll be back again soon bye